week, we're in the Kootenai Plains area of the Canadian Rockies on a frozen lake. And we're taking you overlanding. We're going to drive over 300 kilometers just to get to our destinations. Right now there's 12 rigs. Uh, and I And let adventures begin. We start off by meeting everyone at daybreak. Once everyone has checked in, it's time to roll. Now there's 12 rigs uh, and I believe we're hooking up with another another group from Red Deer Buck Depot. I think there's about three more rigs coming from there so stay tuned boys, let's go. lying if we don't say that this highway has one of the best views in North America. Snow-capped alpine peaks all around us, herd of elk beside the highway. We are fortunate to have this in our backyard. About just 90 minutes into our excursion, we lost half of the convoy. <laughs> Dead people. So, we just got to our first turn off here. We're um, heading towards the Icefield Parkway. And uh, we kind of lost uh, probably like 60% of the convoy here. <laughs> you talk Tagalog, they will, they will answer you in English. <laughs> yeah. That's me, man. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's a fucking bumper in the back. Yeah. Well, we uh, we just pulled off uh, at the Icefield Highway Junction here, going towards Jasper. Our destination is where we'll uh, we'll set up camp there for the night. Uh, there's 12 rigs, two crews. We got Alberta Pinoy Overlanders uh, and then uh, Rough Ground Adventures. So uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good time. It's a good collaboration uh, just to show our community uh, and our fellowship unity with uh, within all our groups. It's going to be good. Yeah, have fun, guys. Have fun. Yeah, I think there's a there's a couple um, there's a couple stops that we're gonna drop by. I think we're uh, this road like we're gonna stop by Bow Lake. I think it's a good spot. So we're gonna ask for a pass here if we need it, but if we don't, like we just go ahead, just pass the the gate here, and uh, you can wait if you want. Bagong max, bagong shoes. See how high we are right now. We are currently at 1683 meters. I don't want to be in the front here, so like, um, can someone take over and like lead the way, please? You 
may have noticed, the snow here is a lot thicker. This particular highway reached all the way up to 2,000 meters. I want to pull over and take photos here, but like we got to be respectful and like actually pull over to the side so we don't uh, interfere with the traffic. On the last episode, one of the guys' rig is not ready to come join us. So we got John B to fabricate his new bumper and install his winch along with his lights. up it's kind of windy so pulling on my jacket get warmed up make sure like I'm actually warm because like apparently it's gonna be super windy tonight so we'll see we'll, we'll update you guys when we get to the spot camping spot to our campsite um, right now we're just making a barrier because like the wind is funneling this way like west so we're just kind of trying to block it and we're making a perimeter just to like to have our dining area here or you know our chilling spot so as you can see there's over a dozen of us just um, just parking around so but for us though we don't have any overlanding tent or like or a rooftop tent so we're gonna have to use the ground to, um, to camp. And we set up like somewhere in the back, a little bit more safe from the wind because we have no floor. The, the ground is probably frozen. So our stakes probably gonna, not gonna be so crazy, like built in. So yeah, I think, I think we'll be fine though. I'm excited. I'm excited to see <laughs> how will the tent like hold up tonight. Good afternoon, Luzon Visayas, Mindanao. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Magandang gabi dyan sa partes ng South America kasama ng ating uh, uh, North America. Magandang hapon, magandang gabi, magandang araw. Gusto po tayo rin. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa Abraham Lake. 
Ang Abraham Lake po mga kaibigan for your information ay is was being established noong January 7, 1842 <laughs> sa tribo ng mga Kuchinawa na ang pinaka-leader nila dito noong araw ay si Gregorio Charles, <laughs> 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 <